All she wanted to do was park her car and ride a bus into New York City. But a self-serve ticket kiosk at the NJ Transit Park and Ride lot at the Vince Lombardi rest area ate her credit card. Frustrated and looking for help, she turned to this passenger information poster with a number for the NJ Transit hotline. Turns out, it's a two hotline. Welcome to America's hottest talk line. Ladies, to talk to interesting and exciting guys free, press one now. Guys, hot ladies are waiting to talk to you. Press two to connect free now. The woman this happened to this morning has asked to remain anonymous, but she tells me she was astounded. She says it's pretty shocking when you call a number expecting to talk to a government agency and you get this kind of recording instead. Shock was exactly the reaction people had when they heard the message. Guys, press two now. Wow. <laughs> that would be an interesting phone call. That sounds like a sex hotline. NJ Transit reacted quickly when we alerted them to the too hot hotline. Turns out this passenger information poster is outdated and according to spokeswoman Nancy Snyder, should have come down in June 2008 when NJ Transit stopped using that number. Snyder assured me we're on it. Checking other properties to see the old posters are removed. But that number is not just on old posters. It also turns up online on other websites like the South Jersey Transportation Authority or this one for Camden Courts. This customer says NJ Transit has dropped the ball. They should make it someone's job to constantly update their information because we need to talk to real people and we need to know what's going on.